Welcome to TOC Extra. I'm your host, Azrael Knight, and in this episode, we answer the question, how did photojournalists in the 1940s get from snap to print as quick as possible? To answer the question, we look back to the September 1949 issue of Popular Science. In Kenneth Sweeney's article, Rush Those Photos, he explains that in photography, speed is spelled with a dollar sign. A photo developed and printed is often worth money, and with that demands shortcuts. You can't afford to dawdle, he states. This method was for getting an image to a newspaper or magazine quickly, and things like grain or archivability was not a priority. And if you've had a photo published in the paper before, then you know it's like printing on Charmin anyway. As the article states, to optimize the speed, you should have everything ready in the darkroom, including solutions mixed. The pros do it in six minutes, says Kenneth, but you may be able to cut your time to 15. If you wanna try this for yourself, you're gonna need a few things. And even someone experienced in the darkroom may not have access to everything here. Here's what you're gonna need. First, it's 1949, and making your own solution was common practice. For developer, it uses Ansco's recommended two-step solution, as well as an extra strong stop bath and fixer. You can freeze frame the instructions here, or check the link in the description. If you don't have access or the desire to start from scratch, you can use Dectal and a regular stop bath and fixer with more powerful dilutions. Sheet film is recommended, but roll film can also be used. It doesn't explicitly state it, but I think orthochromatic film was used, which can be developed under a safety light. Even though RC paper is faster, fiber-based paper was likely used in this demonstration. And for extras, other than your standard darkroom equipment, you should also have some blotters on hand and a couple of 4x5 film sheets that have been cleared. Okay, here we go. Your darkroom is ready with solutions mixed and in their trays. Develop your film negative for one minute at 70 Fahrenheit in each solution, or 45 seconds at 75 Fahrenheit. Dectal users will have the same time, but only for one tray. So you can actually cut your developing time in half by using Dectal. What you'll lose is control. Then move on to the stop bath. Agitate in the stop bath for 5 seconds, then move on to the fixer for 90 seconds. Wash for 2 minutes in rapidly running water. Don't worry about washing all of the fixer off. If you want to preserve it, you can come back and fix later for 5 minutes and wash for an additional 20. After the film is developed, you're going to want to make a print. From here, there are several methods you can use or adapt to suit your needs including a wet method, chemical dehydration with potassium carbonate, or infrared lamps. For the purpose of this video, we'll touch on the fastest way, the wet contact method. Simply take two sheets of 4x5 film from which the emulsion has been cleared, place the negative in between, and lightly squeegee. Once you have exposed the print, develop in a 1 to 1 dilution of Dectol for 1 minute rinse for five seconds, and fix in a concentrated solution for one minute. To dry the print, use an iron, but sandwich it in between blotters. I assumed it was fiber-based because the resin-coated paper would not handle being ironed or placed in an electric dryer very well. And that's about it. Send it off to the presses. Written 70 years ago, I think this article is a fascinating look into photography's past and hope you enjoyed this episode of TOC Extra. I'm curious though if we can do this faster in a modern era. I mean, of course we can, it's called digital. But what I mean is, say, RC paper or a quicker negative developer like HC110. Do you think the old ways gave us the quickest results with the minimal sacrifice to quality? Let me know in the comments below. If you like what I do here, maybe you'll consider supporting me on Patreon. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And until next time, stay classic.
Set. 